If you're in slow tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of drawing a blank. Hello everyone, welcome back to Drawing a Blank. I hope you all enjoyed those last few weeks of live streams. I know I did. It was a nice little break from editing and it was really nice to interact with you all live. Speaking of live, though, you might recognize this piece I'm working on today. Over on the StarClan Battles YouTube channel, Teef, Audrey, and I held a March kitten-themed stream. Audrey drew the ShadowClan kit, Lichen Kit, playing with a ball of moss. So cute. Look at their little chubby belly. They look so much like their father, Shrewbelly. Oh. And Teef did this awesome piece of the ThunderClan Elder Yellow Flower telling stories to ThunderClan kits. Sand Kit, Dark Kit, Orange Kit, Lilac Kit, Dapple Kit, and Bright Kit. I love them so much. Yellow Flower is awesome. You can rewatch the stream and listen to us talk about these characters over on that channel. While they did those, I worked on this piece, and I figured it would be fun to tell a little story along with it for you all today. We've got Dawn Kit and Dark Kit of WindClan, along with the young WindClan elder, Missingfoot. This takes place sometime around the beginning of Cloud and Moon, so don't worry, no spoilers, hope you enjoy. Missingfoot could hear the rustling of the heather before the two kits came tumbling over each other and right into his paws. He had been enjoying the blissful shade the heather provided and taking a nap, but Dawn Kit and Dark Kit's play fighting had woke him up. Dark Kit let out little screams every time Dawn Kit tackled him, followed by Dawn Kit bossing her littermate to keep it down. Metal Leap is trying to sleep. Missing Foot chuckled as Dawn Kit and Dark Kit leapt apart, startled when they crashed into him. Their wobbly little legs made them clumsy, though, and Dark Kit ended up tripping right over Missing Foot's stump of a leg. Oh, be careful, Dark Kit, Dawn Kit scolded. You could hurt Missing Foot. A small pain of sadness hit the Wind Clan Elder. He knew Dawn Kit meant well, and her concern came from a thoughtful place, but do these kits believe I'm truly so fragile? Has Hazelstar told them as much? The Wind Clan leader spent as much time as he could with the Wind Clan kits, telling them stories, taking them out of the safety of the Heather to guide them around camp and introduce them to the warriors, and of course, teaching them the warrior code. As a result, the Kits idolized their leader, and Missing Foot wouldn't be surprised if some of Hazelstar's personal beliefs hadn't rubbed off on them. A little frustrated voice in the back of his mind thought, I survived a fox attack, how fragile can I be? Followed by the guilt he usually felt when he remembered the attack, for surviving when his best friend did not. Maybe I am fragile. I'm quite alright. Missing Foot smiled at the two little kits, doing his best to brush his emotions aside. Don Kit, that was quite the tackle. For such a small little kit, you have the strength of a warrior already. Really? Don Kit's eyes shone brightly at the praise, a tiny kitten tooth poking out in a big smirk. Her enthusiasm was contagious, and Missing Foot smiled wider. From the other side of Missing Foot's leg, Dark Kit groaned. Ugh! Don Kit plays too rough. She keeps knocking me over. Do not. Do too. Missing Foot could tell this argument would continue endlessly if he did not put an end to it himself. You know, Dark Kit, you remind me so much of your father when he was your age. Missing Foot's attempts to take their attention away from bickering worked, and both Kits looked up at him with wide eyes. Really? Jagged Stripe? Oh, yes. Missing Foot thought back to the days when his own kit, Spotted Shadow, had been in the nursery, along with Jagged Stripe. Jagged Stripe and Dark Kit shared many similarities. Dark pelts, a small, stocky build, pretty uncommon to WindClan cats, and, Missing Foot chuckled to himself, four left paws that made both Dark Kit and his father, Jagged Stripe, a tad clumsy. It's cute now, the intrusive thought set in his mind but he'll have to work hard to prove himself as a warrior. Missing Foot remembered his days mentoring his own apprentice, Golden Pelt, along with Jagged Stripe. Jagged Stripe had always struggled amongst his peers, fighting to prove himself worthy amongst them. Even though he was the oldest in his generation, Jagged Stripe was the last to receive his warrior name. White Belly had always thought it was unfair how the clan pushed the apprentices so hard, but at the time, Missing Foot didn't agree. 
Hazel Star and Forest Leaf were her parents, after all, and White Belly had always had a rebellious streak. Hazel Star and Forest Leaf expected perfection because Wind Clan cats were the best around the lake, and setting expectations high meant Wind Clan would get better warriors out of it. At least, that was what Missing Foot used to think. White Belly had probably been right. Setting high expectations for Jagged Stripe had never made him a better warrior, but it had made it easier for Fernface to talk him into doing stupid stunts. You know, Missing Foot turned his attention back to the kits. Both of your parents were always causing me trouble when they were kits. I remember one time Fernface had convinced her brother Volfer and your father Jagged Stripe to sneak out of camp. Don Kit's eyes grew wide and curious, so Missing Foot added sternly, which was very naughty and got them in a lot of trouble, mind you. Don Kit looked away a little guiltily as Dark Kit rolled his eyes at her. When we found out they were missing, White Belly and I looked everywhere. Who's White Belly? Don Kit asked. Oh, of course. The familiar grief settled in Missing Foot's chest. It was a pain he was very familiar with and almost numb to, but the sting was still there. He sighed. <sighs> White Belly was my mate, my best friend, and the cat who saved my life when I got attacked by the fox. Don Kit was bursting with questions. <gasps> Is that how you lost your leg? What happened to White Belly? What was the fox like? Was it huge? What's it like only having three legs? Don Kit, Dark Kit cried. Nightpool told you not to ask missing foot questions like that. Nightpool said it was rude. You're rude. He brought it up. Don Kit stuck her tongue out at Dark Kit. Nah. Then turned back to Missing Foot a little sheepishly. Is it okay for you to tell us, Missing Foot? Nightpool did tell me not to. I'm sorry. Missing Foot felt a little blindsided by Don Kit's forceful personality. But after the brief moment of shock, he couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> of course you can ask me questions, Don Kit. It's hard talking about White Belly. But it would be even harder to insult her memory by never talking about her again. Quietly, Dark Kit mumbled sadly, Is she in Star Clan? Missing Foot sighed and nodded. She is. You miss her, don't you? Very much. We grew up together. I don't remember a day without her before the attack, and I don't go a day after without thinking about her. Can you tell us stories about her? About what happened? Don Kit asked in a more thoughtful way. Dark Kit smiled. Yeah, and finish the story about our parents, too. Missing Foot smiled. Of course, I would love to. Missing Foot told Don Kit and Dark Kit stories until the two had curled up and fallen asleep soundly next to him. Telling these stories was always difficult but it had felt good to share with the kits, who listened so intently. It almost felt like introducing the kits to White Belly herself. He hoped White Belly saw him now, with these kits sharing her story. And that's going to be it for today. If you liked the reading of this background story, I recommend you check out the Star Clan Battles Patreon page. For anyone in our $3 tier, we upload character moments monthly, sometimes more. There are new pieces of art we do of the characters for our patrons that include more details about the characters, and sometimes also mini-stories like this one I read today, and even a novelization of Cloud and Moon itself written by Avalon Roseland of Roseland Productions. Any funds going into the StarClan Battles Patreon goes directly to hiring other creators to help move the project along quicker and doesn't go into our pockets, so we really appreciate the support. If you do want to help me continue the work I do, I also have a Patreon account. There you can support me and even buy yourself a commission. Thank you all so much for watching. Please stay safe out there and please stay inspired. <laughs>